In 1999, a game was released called Homeworld. It's a real-time strategy set in space. It was groundbreaking for its time. I had a really slow PC at the time, and the game looked amazing, and it ran really well. A fun game from my childhood. Homeworld 3 is out now. It's available on Steam and the Epic Games Store. Click on the link in the description to find out more about the game. And this is Homeworld 3. You care about story? You got the campaign here. You want to play online with friends here? Or even quicker, slip straight into a game immediately. But what we're going to focus on today is Skirmish. Boom. We're going to play a an offline game, feedbacks game. It's going to be private, just for me, create the lobby. What we're going to do is with my incredibly small knowledge of Homeworld 1, many, many years ago. Yes, that's right, I'm old. I'm going to see if I can defeat the AI on easy. So I start in this location here. This is the map, and this is where they start here. Now I need to dig into some 25 year old memories and see if I can remember the game. This should be fun, right? Ready, let's go. And here we go. So the one the ship spawns in, I always remember the, how they kind of jump like a window into space. Okay, so these are your controls. I'm using WASD and the right mouse button is look. Oh my God, this game is beautiful. Oh my God, my jaw. And I believe these are your scouts, right? Probes, able to gather information about region to detect enemy units, installation, strong versus nothing, weak versus weaponized enemies. These are simply scouts. And I believe a right click is move. Yeah, oh, RTS brain. And these look like my, my resource collectors. And they're automatically collected by looks of things. Yeah, they are. So I don't even need to do anything, right? No, they're not doing anything. So select, click salvage capture or resource and then collect resource and there's 2250 units i presume this in the top right is my resources and there's also build in the top right build we could build recons or upgrade interceptors strong versus strike aircraft slower single target damage based opponents weak versus anti-strike craft okay so we make some recons we make six of those and then we make an interceptor Oh, this is a research. Okay, so we research an interceptor. And I'm presuming as we research, we go down this list until we get something really chunky like a battle cruiser. Battle cruiser operational. Where is my opponent though? Are they over here? Is that what that line indicates? No, it doesn't. One thing that gives me a flashback of the original Homeworld is I remember the camera controls had a little bit of a learning curve. Okay, recon construction is complete. So we can make interceptors now. So we'll make of those and i presume we start working on some more research and these are my recons recons yeah and into some interceptors as well population top left oh wow so this is a little ledger and it's showing me what i've got so we've got the probes then we have the strike craft okay so probes are kind of referred to as utility okay we have enemy ships here these are recons they are hostile they're moving towards us so it looks like the enemy ship is over here so i'm gonna move my recons in this general direction attack and then left click and there we go oh damn so they've got interceptors and fleet bombers so the, the bombers are effective against the larger aircraft probably like my mothership another larger craft we get later on where the kind of the smaller interceptors and recon are kind of like fighter aircraft and here comes the dog fighting it looks like we have advantage here so we're just going to keep producing interceptors we've got the resources in the top right so i'm just going to keep doing that then next up we research the assault frigate now should i be moving my mothership oh we can see it's actually taking damage you can see that little bar there and they've arrived again. Attack. And if you press F twice, I remember, from Homeworld 1, and that, like, locks in, like, a cinematic view. You can actually see them engaging. Oh, my goodness. When there's, like, so much going on on the screen, you know, your eyes have to spend, like, a second to just track what you're actually looking at. But once again, the damage we're doing now is super intense. More interceptors. Once again, I think the fighters are going to be worthwhile. Our mothership can take a beat in, but then we'll kind of overwhelm them with having a large amount of strike craft. I wonder if there's, like, a maintenance cost, though. And then they've got the interceptors here. So we select all the interceptors, which is F5. Oh, and it selects them all. And then now we can press attack and engage these new hostile craft. All right, here we go. Railway corvettes. And we intercept them immediately. I'm getting blinded by the sun here. Take those out first. And they're the ones that can actually do most of the meaty damage to my mothership. That way, they're just left with fires. And once again, engage, attack. Once again, lens flare blinding my attention here. And they'll not be able to engage. So next one is an assault frigate. An effective anti-strike craft and skirmish cleaner frigate. Strong versus strike craft. Okay, we'll go for this one then, strike frigate. And this looks like... It's not very clear if I'm researching or if I'm building brand new. So now what's going to happen is they're going to send their own frigates, which are very 
significantly chunkier aircraft and you kind of need to intercept those with kind of like your long range single shot high damage which in this case railway corvettes so i think probably we're gonna have to make a few corvettes we'll make eight of those and then we'll make some more assault frigates as well one thing i always remember about homeworld is i feel like because space is 360 degrees you feel like sometimes you feel like you get a little bit lost so what i normally do is select the mothership and then press f and it goes back to it there you go and then you can actually see where you are and you can rotate back to your familiar position and engage those enemy aircrafts as well oh this is the first assault frigate so it looks like a uh the top of it kind of looks like a bit like an air aircraft carrier but it looks like a, a mobile gun station impressive okay so we're gonna have a look at the, all the enemies up to here and they are sending some more craft over here so once again we've got advanced frigates now and railway corvettes so i'm gonna do the exact same thing again i'm gonna select my strike craft which is f5 i'm gonna tell them to intercept gun corvettes there we go and then my own railway gun corvettes i'm gonna tell them to intercept the assault frigates yep and then we go they're engaging how i planned and another one down when the aircraft get destroyed the, the hp part disappears but they kind of just fall out of space kind of a little bit difficult sometimes to actually make out what's actually happening so the railway corvettes can we intercept here where are the boys i need the assault corvettes to move forward too i need the frigates to move forward as well to engage fire and at the same time our railway corvettes have taken a beating too probably because they're singling them out and they're trying to intercept them so in that case we need some more of those railway corvettes we'll make another 10. okay our frigates are exposed right now and they've got a bunch of uh corvettes as well i feel like we're sitting on money at the moment so we need to be building more because it feels like they're overwhelming me okay here are the railway corvettes so these are the long range as you can see they've got a massive gun on them and their objective is to take a big chunk out of these frigates and there you go now they're firing at long range oh, can we see yep okay they still do feels like they i thought they would keep their distance more but they uh they do get relatively close okay we are low on everything right now we've moved further forward than we needed to and we're in a really vulnerable spot so i think the best way to rally everything is f5 for your strike f6 for your rail guns f7 for your frigates right now we're low on resources for everything it makes me wonder if i should have made a resource gatherer an extra one what i'm gonna do is select everyone and put everyone on guard the mothership because the mothership's got some good guns as well it'll be able to defend itself and maybe we can bring the numbers towards our side because right now it feels like we're getting overwhelmed five six seven okay i'm gonna do the unorthodox strategy of using the mothership as a weapon and of course it maneuvers like a tank and i can see the most of the ships that they've got right now are frigates a suppression frigate why is even that a very capable anti-strike craft frigate strong versus strike crafts and formations weak versus long range single target damage based opponents interesting and there we go the mothership is firing now and it does basically no damage to be kind of expected really i'm gonna try and intercept here but they're so vulnerable oh actually they do keep their distance though oh look how far they are away and when they do hit they do hit quite hard taking a big chunk of damage it makes me wonder what the strat is here do you kind of make a critical mass of railway corvettes Okay, I'm actually going to do that. That's going to be the new strap. Because it does seem like the assault frigates, they've got so much HP. They just uh, they absorb all the damage. Okay, one down now. Two left with low HP. Take the final shots. Mothership is firing its rapid machine gun fire, but does very little damage. So you can think about it in your mind. It's kind of like armor in a way, you know, because if they've got stronger armor, you need like a more powerful blast to kind of penetrate that armor. And there goes all my railroad gun corvettes. And then they're reinforcing with some more guys i'm not gonna lie it doesn't look like it's going too good and they've got more rail guns as well hmm and now they're attacking my resource collectors okay i'm gonna take this one as a massive fat l dave's ability to learn homeward three is a work in progress again okay when in doubt ask a friend okay um i'm playing homeworld can you explain the counter system of aircraft of craft okay here we go strike craft versus capital ships fighters and bombers are effective against capital ships due to their agility and ability to swarm large vessels bombers in particular are great at dealing damage to slow moving capital ships aka the frigates right the capital ships are strong versus the frigates i never managed to make any capital ships frigates was the largest ship that i made capital ships with a heavy firepower and durability are effective against frigates they can soak up damage while dealing significant damage to frigates which are small and less armored and then frigates counter strike aircraft okay that's the reason why they were making so many because i was making a lot of strike aircraft so it's a triangle right so strike aircraft counter capital ships capital ships counter frigates 
and then frigates counter strike aircraft however the research direction is strikes then frigates then capital ships so they were making a lot of frigates so i would need to research capital ships which i never really got there anyway so maybe i just need to stop overproducing strike aircraft and just move to frigates immediately okay again skirmish offline add an ai on easy difficulty okay are we good are we good let's go so what i'm gonna do initially is i'm gonna build and i'm gonna build two resource collectors because then we're going to be collecting way more resources than we need to don't really understand the function of the probes maybe i just send them over in this random direction and just see what we do with that then we've got some recon crap we'll move it here click the population the resource collectors f9 i can just immediately tell them to start collecting resources do i need to select a location to collect no they just do it and top that off as we immediately start researching interceptors i think you have to research from top to bottom I think the railgun corvettes weren't the right ship to select. I don't think they were very effective against the frigates. It didn't look like they were doing much damage. So I think what I'm going to try and do is research the interceptors immediately and then go for the frigates. Ah, the fleet bomber here is an anti-large ship. And I don't think there were any anti-large ships at this point. So I need to rush capitals. That's the simple explanation here, isn't it? I'm going to go for the assault. I'm going to go for the railgun frigate now, research. We'll make a few interceptors, just a handful to begin with. Okay, the enemy ships are located at the red one. So there must be their mothership must be somewhere in this general whoop, some general location over here. They've got resource collectors. Maybe I should intercept their resource collectors early. Maybe that's it. And they're attacking my probes here. And can I really do anything about this? Not really. When in doubt, just put all the ships on to defend the mothership. Okay, assault frigate is the next one we're gonna go for. So what I want to do is trying to rush for capital ships. But then if he makes capital ships, he's going to rush for like fleet bombers, isn't he? To try and swarm me. Once again, guys, I think we just make a bit of everything, don't we? What is the counter to everything? Well, make everything. Okay, next up, we have the option to go for carrier. But you need the assault frigate research for that. And we're working on that. Okay. So in the meantime, we're sitting on resources. Not a good thing to do. So we're going to make a bunch of interceptors. And our boys are engaging here. All the interceptors. Once again, I think interceptors are aircraft solely for the purpose of defeating other interceptors. Strike aircraft versus strike aircraft. I'm going to grab all my strike aircraft now, and I'm going to move forward. I wonder if I can intercept one of their resource collectors, because it was somewhere roughly around here, wasn't it? These are just interceptors, so I'm not sure how effective they're going to be. Oh, there's a probe here, and there's another probe here. Okay, we'll intercept these probes for the time being. Right down, put the probe here, and the enemies are back again once again. I need to target... The bomber's at the back. There's a railgun corvette here, so I'm going to intercept that one. And straight away, we rip apart that one instantly. Good. I feel like we need more interceptors. Okay, to go for a destroyer, which is classed as a capital ship, it says it's strong versus everything. Nice. You need the previous research, which is carrier research. Okay, we'll go for that now. Okay, I'm going to pull all the boys back now. And assault frigates arrive now as well, so he can absorb a bit of damage. Once again, I need to be cautiously aware of their bombers now. Oh, they're intercepting our resource gatherers. Ah, that's really bad. I think that's how I lost the previous game. They just won a war of attrition. So we're going to have to come out now because these guys are getting absolutely hammered. We need to be collecting resources more behind our base. Oh, there are any. Ah, oh, I think that's how the games are meant to progress, aren't they? So you kind of push forward to the center of the map. Ah, I see. Okay, that's kind of cool. All right, next up. Can we make a destroyer? No, we need the research. We're waiting for carry to finish. Fort carry is strong versus nothing. It's a forward production facility for defenses. Ah, it's not even a weaponized aircraft. It's just a holder of ships. Okay, we're about to lose another resource gatherer. Okay, we're learning a new piece of the puzzle here. Pushing up front into the center and fighting for the central resources seems to be the meta. All right, research for destroyer is almost here. I have a feeling the minute I get a destroyer out, they're gonna have a destroyer out as well torpedo frigate what is this a heavy torpedo turret strong versus capital larger slower opponents well i'm not gonna lie to you guys to say this is meant to be easy difficulty i feel like i'm getting my ass handed to me the challenge is definitely here okay let's make a capital ship i feel like it's one of those too little too late moments we're down to one resource collector our resource production is down they have such a mass of frigates it's just not going to be possible for me to uh catch up at this point but i just want to see what a, a destroyer looks like can i get over this it says strong versus everything but then it goes also weak versus this hang on a minute is it everything or is it not come on but going kind of like a big full full circle you know right now look they've got that critical mass of frigates they seem to be focusing really heavily on suppression i think 
I'm gonna go with a presumption here. That I think there's a meta here for making lots of frigates. Just making a massive fleet, a big chunk of frigates. Anyway, this is our first capital ship. Let's have a look, where is it? Oh my goodness. Does it come out of here? Oh, there it is. Oh, oh. Amazing. Now watch how quickly that gets destroyed. So this boy is incredibly slow. All right, we're going to move him forward, and it is going to be this boy versus all of these boys. All right, here he is. He's taking his initial damage. So he's kind of keeping his distance. Oh, he's f firing rockets. Looks like he's got multiple weapons. It's not just like a single weapon-based aircraft. I imagine he's going to have, like, lasers for close-up, and then long-range are going to be missiles. Oh, and he's actually hitting him from distance here. Ooh. And now he's taking damage, too. The damage he's taking is relatively small. So we've got assault frigates. They're going to do okay versus the destroyer. The suppression frigates aren't going to do too well because they, they counter strike aircraft. But one thing I will say is the HP on these capital ships is pretty meat. It's got 70 HP compared to the mothership's 150. So the mothership's HP is the equivalent of two destroyers practically. But once again, they seem like damage sponges. They're not really dealing that much damage. They kind of feel like long range craft that kind of sit at the back while everyone else does the fighting at the front. I think the bread and butter of your fleet seems to be frigates. Okay, again, I think the strat here is to create as many frigates as possible. And I feel like maybe it's possible to ignore their front line and just go to the back line immediately and then remove all the torpedo craft and railgun craft because they're the ones that are dealing the meat of the damage. Again! Okay, space. Here we are. I'm going to make two resource collectors this time. You know what, three? So what we're going to do is spam cans of frigates. So what frigates we've got? So assault frigates, you're all rounders, right? anti strike craft, skirmish cleanup frigates. So one issue we're going to run into is because strike aircraft are faster and more, more maneuverable, we're going to have issues catching up to their back line. Next up is the ion cannon frigate, which is half the price. And it's uh, strong against large, slow-moving aircraft. Okay, and then we have torpedoes, which are super long range, I'm presuming. Yep, back line snipers. And then we have the support frigate which is a repair uh, ship. And then we have a suppression frigate, which is an anti-strike craft. So it looks like the all-rounder is the assault frigate, but that is the most expensive of all the frigates. So I'm starting to think the strat might just be to make a few assaults, then mix in torpedoes and supports. No, torpedoes and suppressions. So torpedoes and suppressions in the back line with assaults on the front. Okay, I'm going to go with that. That's my strat. The frigate only meta. Is it going to be a thing? We're going to find out. Oh, here we go. We've arrived. Fleet interceptors and bombers. Engage them. Oh, they attack my resource collectors immediately. All right. Assault frigate has arrived. Engage, boys. Basically, going to make as many assault frigates as possible to begin with. And then we'll make the torpedo frigates. And then the suppression frigates. And there goes all the budget, boys. Blown the budget all in one day. So I can see a resource collector here. So I'm going to engage it. Yeah, I'm going to use all the strike aircraft now and engage one of their resource collectors. Uh, this is we, Instead of playing on the back foot here, I'm going to take more of an aggressive stance. And right now, we have no resources, so we've blown all of our budget on frigates. I feel quite deadly right now. So, frigates F7, put them all on aggressive. Recons F5, put them on aggressive. And once again, we're engaging their resource craft here. Okay, we lost a resource collector, but their take one's taking damage too. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. We're moving into the center region and fighting here. That is so cool. And that's another frigate removed. Okay, we're banking resources now too. So I'm going to go for two suppression frigates and two torpedo frigates. And the rest of them are going to be assault ones. And we can max out of 15 of them as well. Okay, I need to find their resource collectors now. I need to engage their resources collectors. So I'm going to move in this general direction. I can see one here. And there's two here. If I take these two out, this is a win. All right, we're here. F7, engage resource collector. Oh, the amount of damage. Oh, they are trying to pull away here, but the torpedoes. Oh, they do so much damage. One down, and then the other one. The regular assault frigates aren't doing much damage, but the torpedo craft are absolutely crippling them. Same again, I'm going to make sure I focus fire the bombers. Okay, they're attacking my bombers at the back now as well. And look, they're all making railgun corvettes now, so I'm going to intercept their bombers in the rear. Oh, we have a carrier. The carrier has arrived. Okay, this is make or break now, right? Okay, so we've got torpedoes here in the back end. Torpedo boyos, and they're going to aim for that carrier. Can they hit from this distance? And they are firing. Oh, the missiles. Oh, it's got so much HP. I mean, it's a capital ship, so what do you expect, you know? One by one, just focus fire all these bombers. 
Right now, all the strike aircraft has been wiped out. So we can focus fire the carry. The carry is on its own. And that's exactly how my destroyers were in the last game. Oh, the damage! Okay, I'm feeling so much more optimistic now. And there's another resource collector here. So what we need to do is grab all the torpedoes and engage. And that's it. The carrier's gone. Carrier down. And they've got another carrier that they've made. Okay. Got seven torpedoes now. Bombers. And I could just rip apart the resource gatherers instantly. It would be really nice to know how many resource gatherers they've got. But I'm just kind of guessing, aren't I? It's one down. And then the other one. And the second one. One HP. Pop. So I believe if you click on this mode at the moment, the trigger said this is kind of like your map view. So the circle is the map. And then we're here. And this, oh, this is what we can see. Right. Okay. The blue represents what they can actually physically see. Oh, and there's enemy probes all around these areas. Probes spotting the probes. And there we go. There's the mothership spotted. So what's going to do really well in this situation is going to be the long range torpedo aircraft. So, torpedo frigates engage, and then we're just going to go with the fleet bomber. You know what? What's the point? Everyone engage. Massive Royal Rumble. Let's go. And there we go. We initially engage. All the torpedoes are deployed. We're doing some good damage. We're chipping away at them. These are my fleet bombers here. You can see the torpedoes are hitting them as well at range as well. What if the strategy is just to outrange the mothership completely and hit it from really far away? But I've decided that everyone's going to engage here, and everyone's going to do damage. Oh my goodness. It's the 4th of July. Bomber's doing a run. And once again, the torpedo boys from the back here. Hitting them with the torpedoes. Long-range missiles. And the result is... Kaboom. And, and, and... It's so pretty. Damn. Victory! My very first victory in Homeworld 3. The AI building, like, twice as many units than me. But we wiped them all out. I think getting critical mass of those frigates was really important. Check out Homeload 3 in the description below, lads. And I hope you have a good day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.